Hi guys, welcome back to Think Tingo Learning. So in this video, we're going to find the current flow in the 5 ohm resistor using the Venus theorem. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to find the, the Venus resistance and we're going to find the Venus voltage. Okay, and after that, we're going to use the same formula. Current is going to be equal to the Venus voltage over the Venus resistance, okay, plus the load resistor. Okay, so we're going to say plus r okay so now what we're going to do first of all i'm going to replace the power with the short circuit okay so n power source is going to be replaced with short circuit okay let's say if you have current okay we replace current with open circuit okay so if we do that we're going to have something like this okay so we're going to have a short circuit here okay and we have a resistor okay so and we have another 8 ohm resistor okay and we have a 25 ohm resistor and we have a 6 ohm resistor okay so remember i want to find the current that is flowing through the 5 ohm resistor okay so now what we're going to do we're going to remove this 5 ohm resistor which is called the load resistor okay so and we're going to have we just have the terminals here and i want to call this terminal a terminal b Okay, so we have 10 ohm resistor here and 25 ohm resistor and an 8 ohm resistor and a 6 ohm resistor. Okay, so this is what we have. Okay, so now I want to calculate the, the venom resistance. Now I'm going to start at this point. Okay, so you should know that to find the total resistance for series in parallel connection, what do we do in a series connection? Okay, so first of all, what I'm going to do is that the 10 ohm resistor is in parallel with the 8 ohm resistor okay so i'm going to say 10 ohm resistor is in parallel with the 8 ohm resistor but these two total resistors are in series with 25 so we're just going to add if resistors are in series just in them okay but all these series are parallel with this one so i'm going to say this one is parallel with this one so what do we do so first of all i'm going to start with this one okay so for the 10 ohm resistor and the 8 ohm resistor okay, we're going to see that resistance is going to be so here yeah, this is the total the venue resistance okay so i'm going to say r t h is going to be equal to okay so i'm going to say four resistors in parallel just the product over the sum so i'm going to say 10 times 8 over 10 plus 8 okay and i'm going to say this one plus 25 okay and i'm going to say these are parallel to the 6 ohm resistor okay so now what we're going to do what we're going to get if we add here okay so if we add here we're going to say 10 times 8 that is going to give us 8 divided by 18 okay and we're going to say plus 25 okay so what we're going to get we're going to get 265 over 9 okay and we see 265 over 9 is in parallel the six ohm resistor okay so if this resistors are in parallel we're going to say sum the product over the sum so it's going to be six times 265 over nine divided by six plus 265 over nine and what is going to be the thevenin resistance okay so we're going to say this one times six divided by six plus 265 remainder 9 so what are we going to get okay so the answer is going to be equal to 4.984 ohms okay so this is the thevenin resistance okay so now what we're going to do we want to find the voltage okay so i'm going to draw this circuit again so we have our power we have six volts okay i'm gonna say this is plus this is minus and we have a resistor here, a 10 ohm resistor so we have eight ohm resistor here and we have a 25 ohm resistor and we have a six ohm resistor here okay and we said you don't need the 5 ohm resistor since it is this is the load resistor okay so i'm going to just put terminals okay so we have 
we say this is terminal A and this is terminal B. Okay. So now what we're going to do, okay, let me just say this is 10 ohms and we have 25 ohms and we have 8 ohms and we have 6 ohms. Okay. So now what we're going to do, first we're going to find the voltage of these terminals. Okay. So I'm going to, let's say this is V1 and this is equal to V2. Okay. So the voltage at this point is equal to the voltage at the point A and B. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I think when I give a problem like this, I'm going to use nodal analysis. I'm going to say, let's say this point, I want this point to be equal to zero. Okay, so I'm going to treat this as nine, this is equal to zero. Okay, so now first I'm going to start. Okay, so the voltage at this point, okay, remember we don't have anything here, so we don't have any voltage drop. It's going to be equal to six volts, okay? But we're going to lose some voltage here, okay? So now, what are, what do we know? We know that voltage is equal to IR, which is current times resistance, okay? So now, the current flowing through this resistor, okay? So it's going to be this voltage six minus V one divided by R, what is the resistance? It's going to be 10. Okay, so if we make I subject of the formula, current, we're going to see that current is equal to voltage times voltage over resistance. Okay, and what is going to happen? Okay, so remember, by using Kirchhoff's voltage law or current law, what we're going to do? Okay, so let's say we have current I just flowing in this direction. Okay, so what it is going to split here, we're going to have I2 here, and we're going to have I3 here. Okay, so the junction, but the sum of this current entering a junction should be equal to the sum of the current leaving a junction. So in other ways, what we're going to say, what I'm saying, okay, so we're saying that I is equal to, okay, so I've said this is I1, so this is I2. So let me just say I1, I2, and this is equal to I3. So say I1 is equal to I2 plus I3. Okay, so that is what I'm going to use in the analysis. Okay, so say this current is I1. Okay, so we're not just going to write I1, but I'm going to, we know that current is equal to voltage over resistance, and this should be equal to, what is I2? Okay, so for I2, we're going to find the voltage, okay? So what we're going to do, so we're going to have a voltage here, which is bigger than this voltage. So we're going to say this goes to V1 minus V2 over the resistance, which is going, which is equal to 25, okay? Plus, for I2, okay, so remember I said this is 0, so we're going to say V1 minus 0 over the resistance we have eight okay so this is my reference point okay so now i think what you can do you can divide each term by 10 here each term by 25 here and each term by 8 here okay so i think we have 0 0.6 minus 0 0.1 v1 okay and we have what is 1 over 25 1 divided by 25 i think that is something like 0 0.04 0 0.04 v1 okay minus 0 comma 0 4 v2 plus 1 divided by 8 is going to be 0 comma 1 2 5 v1 okay so i think we can combine like terms okay so if you combine like terms what we're going to get we're going to get 0 comma 6 and we're going to move v2 from here to here so it's going to be plus 0 comma 0 4 v2 okay and what we're going to get, you're going to get on, on this side, it's going to be 0, 0,04 V1 plus 0, 0,1 V1 plus 0, 0,125 V1. Okay, and this is equal to, if we say 0, 0,4 plus 0, 0,1 plus 0, 0,125, we're going to get 0, 0.265 v1 okay so this is going to be our first equation okay so i'm going to say this is going to be equation number one okay. so for this note okay so what we're going to do okay so we have i 
three year yeah? okay so the current year is still the same the current year okay so remember you don't have any current that is flowing yeah so what is going to happen so the same current here yeah, is going to be the same current there because we don't have anything here yeah? so what we're going to do we're going to say this also be equal to a three okay but the voltage at this point is higher than voltage at this point because we're going to have a voltage drop here so i'm going to say v2 okay actually it's v1 minus v2 over 25 that is going to give us the current okay this should be equal to the current that is flowing from this point to this point so it's going to be say this is zero okay so i'm going to say this is going to be v2 minus zero over six okay so this current and this current is going to be the same okay so think this is going over 25 if we just divide everything by 25, going to have 0 0.04 V1 minus 0 0.04 V2 is equals to 1 over 6. Okay, since 1 over 6 is equal to my decimal, I want to say V2 over 6. Okay, so I think you can say 0 0.04 V1 is going to be equal to 1 over 6, 1 remainder 6 plus 0 0.04. 1 remainder 6 plus 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0,04, okay, and we're going to get 31 over 150 V2. We're going to make V1 with the formula, okay, if we divide everything by 0, 0, 0,04, so V1 is going to be what is going to what are we going to get if we divide this by 0, 0, 0,04, okay, so we're going to get 31 over 6 V2. And this is our second equation. Okay. So say that the voltage at this point is just going to be the equal to the voltage at this point. Okay. So we say this is another terminal. Okay. So now what we're going to do if we solve this equation simultaneously, I think we can just succeed. Okay. So first of all, we have said from equation number one. Okay, so equation number one is zero point six plus 0, 0,04 V2 is equal to 0, 0,265 V1. You can make V1 to get the formula. You divide everything by V1. Okay, so everything, everything by 0, 0,265, 0, 0,265, 0, 0,265. Okay, so V1 is going to be equal to 0 0.6 divided by 0 0.265 okay we're going to have 120 over 53 plus 0 0.04 divided by 0 0.265 okay so we're going to have plus 8 over 53 v2 okay so now look we have our equation we have v1 one e v one e and we know that if we equate equation one to equation number two what we're going to get we can solve v2 both are only interested to in v2 in finding v2 okay so we can say 120 over 53 plus 8 over 53 v2 okay and this is going to give us this number that one over 6 v2 okay i think if we say that one over 6 minus you can say 120 over 53 is equal to 31 over 6 minus 8 over 53 v2 okay so this is going to be equal to if you say that one divided by 6 minus that one remainder six minus eight remainder fifty-three. What are we going to get? Okay, we're going to get fifteen ninety-five three over three hundred and eighteen feet two. Okay, I think if we divide both sides by fifteen ninety-five over three eighteen, we're going to get v two. So v two is going to be equal to one hundred and twenty over fifty. Three divided by fifteen ninety five over three eighteen, and what is going to be the answer? Okay, so if one hundred twenty remainder fifty three 
Ready balance. Okay. So I'm going to get zero comma four five one volts. Okay. So now we have the voltage across a b okay so this is the voltage across this terminal and we have the defining resistance okay so now what we're going to do we're going to have a simple circuit okay so for voltage defining voltage the equivalent voltage okay so we have we said it's zero comma four five one volts okay and we're going to have equivalent resistance instead of drop right of these resistors okay you can just write what what did you obtain okay so we find that this resistance okay it's going to be four comma nine eight four ohms okay plus with the load resistor now i can hit the load resistor okay so i'm going to give five ohms here okay and i want to find the current you see it's now is okay you know that voltage is equals to ir so what is the voltage what is going to zero comma four five one v so what is going to be since these resistors are now in series okay we're going to just add them it's going to be four comma nine eight four plus five and times the current i okay remember here yeah, we have ohms okay so you can justify it and we're going to see that the current is equal to 0 comma 451 divided by 4.984 plus 5 and what is going to be the answer okay so if you divide this by 4.98 plus 5 okay so what we're going to get we're going to get 0 comma 0 0.045 amps okay so this thing is equal to this okay see voltage the venin voltage 0 0.451 okay divided by the thevenin resistance this one okay plus the load resistor we have r uh, okay so this is the answer okay so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe subscribing is free so that I don't miss the next video have a good day